it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and I want to show you the latest colouring book by Japanese artist Inko. You probably are familiar with her from her previous colouring books that feature Disney or lovely little chipmunks like Happy Birthday or the English edition of True Love. This is her latest which is called Ruby's Sweet Dream and you can see it's a little bit smaller than like Secret Garden for example but gorgeous size, lovely little red spine on it and isn't the cover art beautiful? Now this is a dust jacket with fold out flaps and a lovely card cover and you can colour that, it's on like a craft type cardboard and it's quite thick, it has got a little bit dented in the shipping process but I can always iron that on the reverse side and uh, flatten it down a bit these are her previous books and I really love those. This little chipmunk one is one of my favourites. It's absolutely gorgeous. And of course, as always, you can see those reviews on my blog or my channel. So we start off with just a plain text here. The lovely mauve writing of the name of the book and the artist name below. And then we've got this coloured inset with all of this gorgeous line art surrounding it. Now as a real treat we've also got a coloured picture here and although some parts of this book are in English the other parts are in Japanese but I presume it's uh, giving us some techniques to colour in. And we've got this gorgeous one here and isn't that just so deliciously pastel pretty? Now this is sort of like a storybook, so it's divided up into chapters and it's all in Japanese unfortunately, but the illustrations are so cute and they're sort of fairy based. Now some of the line art does run up to the spine, but just pushing it down gently we should be able to crack open this spine and make it easier to colour in. And look at all these gorgeous little mushroom houses to colour and a whole village there. So we've got beautiful flowers and lovely froggies and Inko has actually textured some of these images with like a little grey scale type look interspersed with her line art which is always super clear and crisp. Now the paper in this book is lovely. It's an off-white and it's a medium quality at the heavy end. Now of course you couldn't use alcohol markers in it because it is printed double-sided and it's not on like alcohol based paper so it would bleed through but water based markers uh, should be fine but as always test it out on you know one of those pages at the beginning those ancillary pages And look at this, we've got cute little elephants and little mice and adorable little animals in outfits. And there's our froggy and he continues to be part of this story. I wish I could read what the story was. And we've got all these adorable little animals, like a little tortoise, kitty cats and this gorgeous like fantastic castle villages. Aren't they beautiful? And there's our froggy again. And we've got like a little froggy mask. Mm, this is just lovely. Now, as I said, this should loosen up a little bit, but it's not too bad even pushing down on it. So it should be fine. This background was already pre-printed on there, which is just lovely something nice and different. Now as always the links to buy are below the video or if you're looking at this on my blog they're at the top and the bottom of the blog post. Make sure you look at the options because I always try and put a few options in there to buy a few different places. And there's a froggy again and she's got this 
sort of like a little faint grey texture and like some fainter line art here so that it'll merge and give that painterly look for the frog. I'd love to know what this story is about. And there's our froggy again. And I know Inko loves to draw birds, so I'm surprised that there's not that many birds in here. Now, even though there is a little bit of text here and there, it doesn't really interfere with the picture. Sweet dreams. And here we've got a thumbnail, and it's some form of interactivity going on. I have no idea, but uh, that's the legend to solve it. And now we're coming to the end. So this paper at the end, that would be a great spot to test out your mediums and your colour palettes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, just hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you'll be notified when I next post a colouring book review. But until next time, happy colouring.